Good morning. Today is a book about Please Say Please, Grumpy Bunny. Do you know how important it is to say please? May I have a cookie, please? So the teacher says today is please day. So you two girls are good about saying please. And the author is Justine Corman Fontes. Let's see how it starts. It's bunnies today. Chapter one, the magic word. One morning, Mrs. Clover asked her class, does anyone know the magic word? Hopper O'Hare's ears flew up. A magic word? Would it bring toys to life or make bunnies fly? No one could guess the magic word is please, Mrs. Clover said. Hopper's ears drooped. He rolled his eyes. The word please wasn't magical. It was just one of those polite words grown-ups fussed about, like thank you or excuse me. Look at, can you tell which one is Hopper? See the bunny with his ears down and his hands on his head? Like, oh no, I'm not happy about that. Hopper wasn't used to saying please. He was an only bunny. Hopper never had to ask brothers or sisters for things. And at Corny's crowded house, everybody was too busy playing to bother with saying please. They're doing lots of things. Chapter two, the game. Oh, I bet the teacher has a game for them. We are going to play a please day game, Mrs. Clover said. The winner will be anybody who says please perfectly all day long. That means saying please every time you ask for anything. Hopper decided to win the please day game. This should be easy, he thought. But remembering to say please every time you ask for something isn't easy. Mrs. Clover's class played basketball during gym. It was a very exciting game. Marigold got near the basket. She shouted, pass the ball to me. Every bunny froze. Corny stopped dribbling. Suddenly, Marigold realized her mistake. Oh no, I forgot to say please. Hopper felt sorry for Marigold. He was determined not to make the same mistake. Chapter three, the surprise bonus. Wonder what that's about. May I please write on the blackboard? Hopper asked later. Hopper loved to write on the board. Mrs. Clover smiled. She let him write all the math problems. In the cafeteria, Snowball asked, may I have the big brownie? You forgot the magic word, said Corny. Hopper added, you should have said, may I please have the big brownie? The cafeteria bunny smiled. Then she gave Hopper the big brownie. Hopper was beginning to like saying please. At the library, Mrs. Pumpkin asked, who wants to read this book? Milkweed's paw flew up. May I, he asked, aren't you forgetting something? Mrs. Pumpkin asked. Hopper raised his paw. May I please have the book? Mrs. Pumpkin smiled. That's very polite, Hopper. Hopper let Milkweed have the book, but Milkweed was out of the Please Day game. So Hopper's still in the game. In music class, Hopper struggled with his scales. Let me show you, Lilac said. Hopper's ears flew up. She'd forgotten the magic word. Lila blushed. Oops, I should have said please. Now even polite Lilac was out of the game.
Hopper kept saying please all day long, and the strangest thing happened. He started to think the word might really be magic. Looks like he's getting everything because he says please. That could be. Chapter four, the winner. May I please have your attention, Mrs. Clover said at the end of the day. Who remembered to say please all day? If you did, please raise your paw now. Hopper's paw flew up in the air. He looked around the room. He was the only one. Mrs. Clover smiled. We have a winner. <clears throat> Hopper felt very proud and happy he had won the game. But Hopper kept saying, please. He kept saying it. Oh, was that a good idea? I think so. Corny wondered why Hopper was still saying please. Hopper shrugged. I like the way please makes everybody smile. I noticed that too, Corny said. But why, Corny wondered. Hopper said nobody likes to do that. What they're told, but they're happy to do what they're asked. That makes sense, Corny agreed. Besides, Hopper added, I want to win the next Please Day game too, so I might as well practice. Corny laughed. May I please come over to your house after school, he asked Hopper. Maybe he would win the next game. Then they both burst out laughing. The end. So Hopper wasn't very happy at the beginning, was he? But he used the word please. And what's another good word to use? How about thank you? I love you girls. Have a good day.